Com. Now, currently, Watershed Mentoring has four programs in which the mentors can, can make a difference. Could you explain what these four programs are? Sure. Um, the program we've, uh, we're have we probably best known for and have had running for the longest period of time is uh, our um, community-based mentoring program. Community-based mentoring means that uh, the child and the mentor uh, are not meeting in a school or other mm -hmm. um, organized site. They meet out in the community. Um, and uh, the requirements, all of our programs, we're looking for a long-term attachment. But um, within that uh, program, we ask for a year of mentor uh, commitment and child and commitment on the part of the family as well. Um, one to two weeks, uh, one to two hours per week, mm -hmm. um, understanding that people have things come up like vacations and illness and so on. But we're striving for consistency and, and reliability on the part of the mentor and the child and their family. So uh, that's our community-based program. It's, it, as it says, it's in the community. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we uh, began a couple of years ago a program at St. Albans City School, um, which we call Friends for Lunch. It's a Wednesday uh, lunchtime program, and uh, it's focused on grades one through three. And the focus of that program is to um, uh, engage kids in school by providing them another good reason to come to school. So uh, we're looking for improved attendance, truancy mm -hmm. prevention. That's our major goal um, in collaboration with the school. And um, we're starting young. We're starting with kids who, whose patterns, behavioral patterns are not completely established yet, but for whom the school thinks uh, an additional community member would be uh, an asset. Mm -hmm. So that's um, Friends for Lunch in St. Albans. We are starting up, we haven't actually started implementation yet, but we are starting up with uh, Swanton School, a similar program. It will be the uh, Swanton Royal Lunch Bunch. <laughs> and it starts up next fall and we're looking for mentors for both of those, all of our programs. I'll just put that plug in right now. We'll come back to that, I know. Um, so that's our um, second school-based program. And then we're in collaboration with uh, uh, the Richford Cornerstone uh, Community Center, which is a wonderful, n uh, fairly new initiative. It's been around for about a year. Uh, we've started a mentoring program with them. We support them in a site-based, but very closely aligned with the school uh, program. So kids are coming to that program after school. Again, younger children with the hope that they'll continue on over the course of a few years. Um, and it's a wonderful um, partnership with their senior center. So most of the mentors participating in that are actually also members of the senior center. And uh, so young kids meeting with older adults and having a great time and really seeing positive uh, re results there too. So, um, so those are our um, three site or school-based programs in addition to the community-based program. Mm -hmm. And as you are aware too, we're um, uh, partnering with NCSS and um, the Community Justice Center of St. Albans um, in a program that will probably take advantage of all of those uh, existing um, modes of mentoring um, to reduce truancy throughout the, uh, the two counties of mm -hmm. Grand Isle and uh, Franklin.